Honorable Ministers, uh, dear participants, last year with the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, Member States took historic steps to ensure a safer, more sustainable and more equitable future for all. These new agreements recognise the critical role that water, sanitation and hygiene play in human development. They show that work on water, sanitation and hygiene in fact underpins the elimination of poverty. Goal 6 states that we must ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Several targets related to these issues are also included in other goals, such as the ones that address health, nutrition, education and sustainable cities. All is intertwined. The goals are interrelated and mutually reinforcing. This is particularly valid for the water issue. Now, our shared challenge is for each and every member state to bring the goals to their home countries and to bring them to life for people. This will require unprecedented coordination and communication among organizations and individuals working in this area in support of strong government-led national plans. The 2030 Agenda calls for global partnerships to address the means of implementation to achieve the SDGs. And this is where the upcoming meeting of ministers under the Sanitation and Water for All Partnership comes in. The meeting of ministers of water, sanitation and hygiene convened by UNICEF and hosted by the government of Ethiopia in Addis Ababa will provide a unique opportunity to achieve global alignment, share innovative approaches and identify concrete steps for the time ahead. The meeting will not only involve governments, civil society, external support agencies, research institutions and the private sector will also be represented at the highest level. Their support and participation will be vital in the next 15 years. Very concretely, the Sustainable Water for All Ministerial Meeting has five objectives. First, it provides an opportunity to look collectively at the sanitation, water and hygiene-related SDG targets and identify what their level of ambition means for the sector. Second, it's also a moment to critically examine the potential barriers to achieving these targets. Third, it provides an opportunity to identify the different roles and responsibilities of each partner in achieving these targets. Fourth, the meeting will lay the groundwork for clear action plans and strategies. And fifth, the meeting is to lead to agreement on how those working on water, sanitation and hygiene need to interact with others, such as partners responsible for health, nutrition and energy. This is an ambitious agenda designed to match the ambitious vision of the SDGs. So in support of the Sanitation and Water for All Partnership, I encourage ministers and all partners who will be in Addis Ababa on the 15th and 16th of March to make this meeting a success. The action plans developed at that meeting can bring about positive change in the lives of millions of people. Its success depends on the active participation of decision makers from all over the world. Only by working together we can achieve sanitation, hygiene and water for all. And by that, a life of dignity for all. I thank you.